Hey y'all, this is Mike here. In today's video, we are just going to go through the steps of up uh, flashing Mocky ROM into the Pixel C tablet. Apparently, they have a uh, Android Pie version for this. Uh, so far, uh, there isn't any other ROM that I can find that is running on Android Pie, so I just want to give it a try. So, um, this, this video itself doesn't actually uh, do like all the full step-by-step -step guide and stuff so if you want to know how to unlock how to do the fast boot and stuff uh, you can actually refer to the video i have on lineage os on how you do a novel loader and stuff like that so for now for this one uh what be since is really running on custom recovery and stuff i'm just going to load in the g apps and uh, load in the uh, mocky rom itself and flash it and see how the result is so yeah just let's get on with it one, one, one point to note is that um, we will be booting into recovery mode to do the flash so the data and everything should be wiped so end of the day uh, if you are going to do this please make sure that you have backed up all the related data and stuff that you need else uh, it will be cleaned up completely right so um, another thing would be um, if you need to revert back to stock uh, Oreo, which is Lineage or the factory, um, I mean Lineage OS, you will need to reflash back the vendor package, the latest package, because uh, I think the Mocky one will include their own vendor package, which I don't know how that's going to be done. So like what I said, please do a backup. This is not a foolproof way of doing going to Mocky ROM, as um, I'm just experimenting myself to see whether it's running fine and give the feedback to you guys. So yeah, so without further ado, let's just go on with the steps okay before i forget um since you are flashing to a new rom it's better to remove any kind of screen lock or pattern lock that you have to avoid any issues uh, encryption issues and stuff like that so normally what i'll do i'll just disable the the lock screen or stuff that i have for this one okay so once your computer uh, your tablet is connected to your computer what you can do is to do adb adb devices to ensure device is connected uh, so what we want to do now is to boot to recovery. So you can do a ADB reboot recovery to boot yourself into the custom recovery so that we can push in the files for us to flash. So once your device gets booted up, you will just move it for a while. Okay, so once you are in the recovery itself, you can do a ADB. Uh, devices again to see whether you are connected so logically you should be connected via recovery so once you have that you can actually go to navigate to the place where you store your mocky rom download uh, which is in f pixel c and the yeah, r slash w as you can see the mk 9.0.90.0 dragon uh, so that's the uh, image itself um, we are gonna, not going to put in any GFs yet, I just want to flash the ROM and see how it goes. So what we do is do ADB push, uh, MK, slash SD card. So this will push the zip file into the device, where after that we will move on to the uh, device itself for the setup. Okay, it's done. Uh, so if you need the GApps, you can follow back the same method and just push the GApp zips into the uh, device itself. You need to be. I normally use the Pico package, uh, but this one is on uh, Android. This is on um, Oreo, the one that I have here. I'll download later and push it in. So for now, let's just get back to the tablet for the rest of the setup. Okay, as you can see, I already wiped the device. So normally what you'll, you'll do is to actually go back. Uh, you click on advanced wipe and you select Velvet up. Cash and system and as well as data as data internal we'll leave it because we already pushed the files inside so yeah what you're going to do now is to try and install mk dragon that way you say you can just put this in and once you're done you just swipe to confirm flash and um, we'll see whether that works Okay, as you can see, the flash has completed, so I can just do a white velvet cache again. Uh, then once it's done, we can go back, go back out. Uh, you can choose to reboot the system now, and let's reboot it and see how, how things go. So let's just do a reboot system, and do not install. Let's just wait it out. 
Okay, as you can see, <coughs> Moki Run has been booted up. I don't know how good that is. We will just put on next. Just tell you guys did next. You can next for this one. You can next for the network. It looks like Android Pi navigation, as you can see here. Uh, location information, da 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 da. Yeah, next. This portal has fired up instead of screen key navigation, da 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 da. Okay. Let's keep also. Start. Okay, um, it's like, yeah, we can do a uh, Android Pi navigation here as you can see. Um, there's nothing much, there's no bloatware, no nothing, there's some phonograph, uh, Moki Center, I think this one for you to update your ROM and stuff. So if you take a look at it, this is running on Android 9. Um, so far, I didn't see anything which is pleasant which is not working the navigation looks okay yep I'm gonna use this for a while and see how it works but uh, somehow rather the flashing process will be present I'll, I'll basically flash in GApps and see how everything goes from there okay as you can see now um, I already have the, uh, the Google package installed uh, the nano package uh, seems to be there there's no issue so far running this wrong it looks okay um so yeah just let me try doing something okay as you can see i think i have my uh jeps running it's running fine i can just download and see whether i can download anything here i can just install it see whether things are installing yep it seems to be working fine things are quick uh how about updating of apps yeah, then you can update this as well. Yeah, it's downloading and it's pretty quick in terms of speed. Um, so far, I think I haven't been extensively using this ROM, but um, I think it's running smooth at this point of time. So um, I will feed back to you guys once I have more updates on, on, on this. But so far, I see what I'm using. Um, and I'll use it for this as this tablet is my daily driver. I should be able to use it for a longer while and to give you some feedback on this. So you, if you have any questions, do do let me know. Um, and if you really want Android nine on this tablet itself, uh, like how I how I want it. So I think this ROM is pretty good. As um, but the problem is Moki is running is is actually developed by uh, uh, quite a number of people. It's from China, so if you have reservation on that, <clears throat> you can don't use it. But if you don't actually care about all that stuff like me, then um, yep, feel free to go ahead and install this. I think this ROM is pretty good and it's running on light nightly mode. It should be okay. So we'll see how it goes. So yeah, that's all I have for today's guys. If you want Android 9 on your Pixel C, this is the only ROM that you can get uh, at this point of time. I've searched around and I don't see anything. And um, yep, so that's all I have. And hope you enjoy the video I do and do subscribe for any future updates and I'll get back to you uh, if there's any questions or comments that you have and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!